Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Chess's Lifestyle. My name is Chaz, and y'all already see from the thumbnail. Today, we are throwing down for Meal Prep Monday, and we're making some meal preps. Easy, keto friendly, and very fun and delicious. Okay, so let's get to it. For the ingredient list, I have four garlic cloves minced. All my ingredients will be listed down below in the description. I have two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. These are the ingredients for the sauce and the salmon. This is two tablespoons of sesame oil, a half a cup of honey, one third cup of water, and I also have one tablespoon of onion powder, a half a tablespoon of paprika, salt and pepper to taste. Really basic and simple since we are creating a sauce. So first things first, I am prepping my salmon. This is the knife that I prefer using when taking the skin off and cutting off pieces that I don't want on the salmon. So I cut that piece because I want my salmon to be even when I'm cubing it since I am doing salmon bites. So a tip that I have is make sure your salmon is flipped over to the skin side. You're gonna just take a little piece to peel back to give you a starting point. And then I take a paper towel which helps me you know, keep the salmon skin stable while I am separating it from the actual salmon. And you wanna ensure that your knife is positioned in an upwards angle. And you can always just take your time and check back to make sure that you are cutting it evenly and you aren't taking away too much of the salmon meat. Now it's okay if you cut a little bit of the salmon meat, it's all right. So that's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do. And I'm almost done with that. And as you can see, I'm pulling this skin towards me and up while I am cutting. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as, as long as you get most of the skin off. Okay, so now I'm flipping it over and to prep the salmon, I'm actually going to cut certain pieces off that are uneven. And then I am going to cut off the additional fat that I don't want on the salmon since we are making salmon bites. Next, I'm going to slice my salmon into my desired size pieces that I prefer. You can actually leave it like this into salmon fillets, but I decided I wanted to do something more fun and make salmon bites. And then I'm going to cube the salmon into the size that I prefer. Now with me, I personally like my salmon bites to be pretty thick. As you can see, they're very meaty. I think that it keeps it very moist and juicy while cooking. As you can see, very chunky. That's exactly how I like it. So now I'm drizzling some olive oil on the salmon. You can actually use avocado oil. So I am going to drizzle that on and rub it all over, including the other side of the salmon bites to ensure that all the seasonings stick on once we start seasoning. Now I'm taking my seasonings and I'm just giving that a very good mix to make sure everything is evenly incorporated. So when I'm coating it on the salmon, it's getting a little bit of everything. Once I'm done mixing these seasonings, I will go ahead and sprinkle that all over the salmon bites, including the sides, as well as the other side of the salmon bites. You wanna get all over it. Now the key to have a nice pretty sear is to pat it afterwards. You wanna just pat, not rub, but you wanna pat the seasonings in the salmon bites to give it a pretty coating on the top. I'm flipping them over and it's time to season the other side. So I have a little bit of seasoning left, which is perfectly fine since I really season the sides and the top pieces very well. So once I flip it over and use the remaining seasonings, I will just rub that on just to make sure every piece is coated. My cast iron is preheated on medium heat. I added a drizzle of olive oil and the key to a cast iron is to ensure that your pan is well seasoned and heated very well before adding your 
seafood, meat, or whatever you're using. Taking my salmon bites and I'm placing them into the cast iron and I'm just going to sear these until I get a pretty nice brown sear on each side. So about two to three minutes each side. I'm not worrying about it being fully cooked because I preheated my oven on 400 and once I create the sauce, I will finish the cooking process in the oven for a few minutes just to ensure they're fully cooked, not dry, but super tender. After about two to three minutes, this is how it's looking. They're looking good. As you can see, it's not fully cooked, but that's how we want it. So for my sauce, I'm adding all of my ingredients. I just have a basic honey sauce that I wanted to add. Now, if you are very strict and you want to have a stricter diet, um, I suggest not making a honey glaze sauce. Now, usually my honey glaze sauce is pretty thick because I add a cornstarch slurry. Since this is more on the healthier side, I decided to not put the cornstarch in there. So it's basically more of a sauce and for it to sit in as it's cooking instead of a glaze. I'm adding all my salmon bites to my baking dish. And I'm just boiling the honey glaze sauce just to cook it. I want that garlic to really infuse into that sauce very well before I go ahead and take it off and add it to the salmon bites. So like I said, it's not as thick, but it just gives it more flavor. It makes the meal preps more fun and just so good to eat instead of the basics. But like I said, just use the same seasonings, sear your salmon bites. While that's in the oven cooking for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and blanch my vegetables. To me, that's the best way to have the, the fresh vegetables to get your nutrients is either blanch, steam, or roast your vegetables. I'm adding just a slight butter sauce, nothing too major because this is a healthier style meal prep. Um, you can just go ahead with a little all, drizzle olive oil as well as these seasonings. The seasonings that I am using is no salt, dash seasoning, chili flakes, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little dash of salt and black pepper. And I'm going to mix that into my butter sauce to create a slight brown butter sauce. And then once that is done, I'm just going to add that to my vegetables. But like I said, for a healthier side dish, don't make the butter sauce. Just add a little drizzle of olive oil, the same seasonings that I'm using, and give that a very good toss in a bowl. And there you go. Now that my vegetables are done and blanched for about six minutes to my liking, I still wanted a slight bite. I didn't want them to be overcooked. So I'm adding that to a bowl after I strained it and then I will add that beautiful brown butter sauce. It's just a light touch for additional flavor. So once I'm done adding that sauce in, I'm going to give that a very good toss, very gently, and to ensure that all of my vegetables are coated with that sauce. Super easy and convenient meal prep. It doesn't take long at all. It's very easy, very beginner friendly. So now it's time to prep. I, I was able to make about five meal prep bowls, which is actually really good because I like to switch it up during the week. Um, so this was actually the perfect amount. As you can see, my salmon is very juicy, full of flavor from that honey sauce. And of course, while it was baking, it created its own sauce. So those juices from the salmon plus the honey sauce, mm, mwah, chef's kiss. If you decide to make this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Child's Cuisine Story. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't a part of the lifestyle. I will see you all in the next video.